welcome back to beautiful Savannah, Georgia. Today, we are hopping on the brand new Royal Enfield Classic 350. Hundred and fifty cc motorcycle, yeah, going, about four hundred and eighty pounds, I believe, and this is gonna be my cute little ride for the day. So let's hop on the bikes and go explore this gorgeous city. All right, hopping on this little three fifty for the first time. So that's how you start it. You just push it over to the start button, and then you have your hazards here. Switch those off. Obviously, turn signal, not self canceling. Very very simplistic motorcycles oh wow oh wow that's a very comfortable little ride <laughs> good poopy <laughs> so this motorcycle has already been out in india as with most of all of royal enfield's products um, but this is the very first time it's come to the United States and it's such a fun little bike. I think as with all Royal Enfield motorcycles, if you are in an urban area or any kind of area where you really don't need like an insane amount of power, these little classic analog motorcycles are going to be an amazing accessory to your daily commute no matter where you are. Not, not have fun on a small displacement bike. So the seat height on this thing is actually pretty tall. I have an inseam of about 31 inches and I believe that's technically what the seat height on this thing is. If I stand up obviously it decompresses the shocks and it stands a little bit taller but when I'm sitting on it my knees are pretty comfortably bent. Ooh, if you guys watch this video right here you'll know that I just rode the Continental GT the other day and this is a literal night and day difference when it comes to riding position. I'm absolutely sitting upright on this motorcycle. It feels wonderful. So if you haven't figured it out from the name of this bike, this is a 349cc displacement engine. I believe it has horsepower right around... <laughs> it's kind of hard keeping a group together in a, in a city with lots of stoplights. But anyway, it has horsepower, I believe right around 18. <laughs> And uh, I'm excited to take this on some little faster roads and really get to open it up, see how it handles. See? Just cute little cafe racers all over this historic city. So I believe we are heading to a location called Wormslow. Wormslow historic site. So we're going to ride through some beautiful, like a tunnel of oak trees, and then we're going to go see an old decaying plantation. And that's what I love about Royal Enfield events. It's, it's not just about the motorcycle itself. It's more about the lifestyle behind the kind of rider that Royal Enfield is attracting with these classic and timeless looking bikes. And I'm just going to bring you guys along with me. So I hope that's okay with you. We're not really going to focus the entire video on talking about the motorcycle. It's more about, like I said, the lifestyle of riding such a small, nimble classic. Just, I mean, like the aesthetic of this bike is so cute. I live in an area where I literally have to take highways everywhere and a 350 is just not practical for me, but I want one because it's beautiful. I want that Continental GT because it's beautiful. I want that Himalayan because it's beautiful. I just, there's not a single motorcycle that Royal Enfield makes that I don't think is just stunning. We just went on a haunted ghost tour yesterday and we're like riding, oh hi puppy! We're riding through here and it's like so pretty, that fountain, I wanna go back over to the graveyard. Oh, Savannah's one of my favorite cities. I actually talked about it in one of my Q&A videos a really long time ago. Like somebody asked me what was my favorite memory. And one of my favorite memories I've ever had in my entire life actually happened in this city. And it was so unpredictable. I had no idea it was going to happen, but I'll go ahead and explain it. I mean, we have time. So basically my cousins and I and my husband, we all come down here for vacation every once in a while. And we were in this square, like this random square, you know, Savannah is an awesome open container city. So we were just going bar to bar, having some drinks and listening to some live music. And we were sitting on a patio having a couple beers and then out of the blue a live musician came up on his little his little tent podium thing and he was like okay now we're going to introduce billy greer from the band kansas like hello and they both sang dust in the wind 
and it was just like I oh my god it was one of my favorite memories I've ever had in my life so I'll actually insert that clip here I hope I don't get demonetized <laughs> But yeah, that was just so unprepared. It's it's such a magical place, such a magical city. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight riders. And one, two, three, four, five of the eight riders are women. How absolutely insane. That is unheard of. That's unheard of at a bike launch. And I think that is something that Royal Enfield is doing so good for their brand here in the United States is introducing more women riders to the sport. If you are unfamiliar with the program called Build Train Race, I'm actually gonna link that down in this video description. There, it, was, it was packed full this year. It was really hard for a lot of people, a lot of women to get into this program, but basically you get your own motorcycle from Royal Enfield, you customize it, you build it, and then you freaking race it. Like, it's insane. It's so, I got goosebumps talking about it. And I'm just so proud to say that the work that they've been doing with it and the encouragement and just confidence that it's giving these women to ride these motorcycles is unparalleled to anything any other brand is doing. So if you are a big V-twin American cruiser guy, check out Royal Enfield and what they're doing for the actual riding community. Ooh, time for a choo-choo train. Trains. I love the sound of trains. I'm seven. I don't know why I keep getting invited to these things. Believe it or not, I think this is this is going to be a press event video that actually has a lot of talking because I'm in a very talkative mood. I think it's because I feel very comfortable. Every single person on this event right now is either an actual Royal Enfield ambassador or a familiar rider, but just the attitude man the attitude when it comes to this brand is unparalleled some of the kindest most hard-working and loyal people i've ever met i have met through royal enfield just beyond lucky to have found these people in this community but anyway back to the motorcycle i hope you guys can hear me back to the motorcycle it is just man this feels stable i was worried that like for a 350 cc motorcycle that it was just going to feel not very nimble not very powerful it has an 18 inch rear wheel and a 19 inch front wheel i think i'm on spoke um i know in india they have either cast wheels or spoke wheels i believe I, I don't even know. I didn't even really look at the bike. I just was like, oh, that one's pretty. I want that one. This feels like a proper motorcycle, man. And 350 cc's with my fat ass on it feels powerful enough to get up and go. Like, I believe we're doing 30 miles an hour and speed limit's 30. It's another thing I really like about this is we're not, like, nobody's a race. Oh, it's 35. JK, slow asses, hurry up! <laughs> are these the trees? No, these are not the trees. Are these the trees? I don't know. I feel like I'm in a tunnel of trees, so I could, well, uh, no. It's going to have to be prettier than this. And this is pretty pretty. Oh, this is lovely. I can't believe this is my job. I don't get paid to do this. I get paid to make content around this stuff. But I like actually coming down here and riding motorcycles. I don't make any money. Um, it's nice because the companies usually invite me and they pay for things. Like they pay for my flight and my hotel and my food, which is cool. I would like them to do that so I can continue to come because I can't afford to do every single press event. But I don't make money doing this stuff. I'm not paid to say any of the things I say about any of the products I ride. And I think that's where, you know, the brand loyalty and the people who really value my opinion kind of come into play because I'm just here having fun. I make money when I post videos, you know. That YouTube ad revenue, it's not a lot, but it's enough to keep me making videos. Ooh, yeah, I think we're hopping on the highway now. <laughs> we're gonna sound like a little herd of bees. What do you call, what do you call a flock of bees? A hive? But that's a hive, a beehive. Okay, all right. Does this have a, a revometer, rev limit? All right. Line it through the gears, that's what they said. Okay, so we're doing 50, 55, 60, wow! And now we're in fifth gear doing 60 miles an hour. That was relatively effortless, I'm not gonna lie. Holy moly. 
Oh man, and of course, you know, we don't have the windscreen or nothing. This is a classic style motorcycle. And obviously, if you can't tell from the styling of this bike, it's rep it's like a replica of the post-war post -war 50 style machine. It's beautiful. I just realized I still have room in the throttle. I can still twist the throttle. Dude, I didn't even feel this stable on the Himalayan. This feels planted. Did that guy just flip us all off? <laughs> Sorry, buddy, we're slow. <laughs> wee. This, this is, I'm gonna stop saying we. <laughs> oh, it just feels so good to be back on the East Coast riding fun little motorcycles. You know, I was reading about the little thump that this bike has, and I was like, oh, come on, a thump? Like, I ride a Harley Davidson. I know about thumps. This is a proper little thump. <laughs> Sounds good. One of my favorite things about this riding position is you got these mid controls. Okay. You got these mid controls, and you just feel planted on this thing. My legs are perfectly gripping this little teardrop tank, and uh, the tank looks nice and wide. I think that's over three three and a half gallons or something like that. Not 100% sure. I know it's over three gallons, which is pretty substantial for a little bike like this. That was the shortest light ever. I hate that I keep doing this to myself. I hate that I keep riding all different kinds of motorcycles and I want them all. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> like some fun little whoops. Dude, I am just impressed with how well it is handling some of these roads. And boom, neutral. Oh my god, that's so easy. Literally the easiest bike I've ever ridden. So I think a bike like this would be perfect for a beginner rider or somebody just looking to add something smaller to their collection. Like, I will probably always suggest Royal Enfield for beginner riders. I think the reason these motorcycles are so good for like new riders is because they're pure. They're just classic. They're analog. They're they're just focused on being a normal machine. They don't have crazy computers in them, ride modes, all different kinds of safety crazy features because it, it needs to teach you how to be a proper rider, how to properly work a motorcycle. The grips are a nice and substantial size. I mean, like, honestly, when I found out I was coming to ride this motorcycle, I was like, dude, 350, that is super small. I'm a big girl. There's no way that I'm gonna feel comfortable on this thing. Um, Quite the opposite, man. I am taller on this thing than I am on my road glide, on my Dyna. Like this is a very proper motorcycle. And the foot pegs are nice and big. The shifter actually shifts. It literally lets you know when it's in a different gear. It's not soft and squishy like a lot of other manufacturers. It just feels good. Like I'm a woman and I, I feel like a man would be perfectly comfortable on this motorcycle too. I mean, check out old man Ronan. He's like 6'4 or something. Like he's a big dude and he rides these little bikes. I still can't get over the fact that on this official press ride, there are more women than men riders. Like I'm just, yeah, man, Fuck yeah. Yep. Yeah, I need a bigger garage. I really do. I want one of everything. I want that BMW bagger. I want my Road Glide. I want to keep my Dyna. I want a Himalayan. I want a little classic. I, I did, like what else? I want an Indian FTR. <laughs> Like, I just, I want it all. These houses. Uh, oh my God. Like, what do people even do? What do you even do? Do you live here full time? Do you work in the city? Like, what? What do I got to do to do that? Yeah, that's more of a her two wheels house right there. Still probably like four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars because you're waterfront whoa whoa 1733 worms low to 1913 is that how long this plantation was in operation i'm assuming i'm gonna find out but how to ask each back Oh my gosh, having a motorcycle light enough to back up without a reverse is wonderful. <laughs> Woo! Oh, catching leaves. Okay, oh, there's like an engagement shoot happening. Well, now I feel bad. Bunch of motorcyclists roll up and ruin your engagement shoot. 
let's go see what this is all about. So this amazing old plantation is officially the oldest standing structure in Savannah, I believe, maybe even in Georgia, I'm not sure, and probably just Savannah, but it used to be used as essentially a military outpost for the swamps and the marshes here in the area. So I was reading online after, after you know, defending, defending the country from the Spanish and all of that jazz, obviously back in those days, um, the owner would have slaves and then he he made this entire 500 area into a plantation where they grew cotton and um, grain rice I read about mulberry trees and stuff like that grapes all kinds of stuff so very very historic site and absolutely beautiful now to witness this super fun to actually get to see the history and not just ride motorcycles non-stop <laughs> Well, this was an absolutely awesome experience, man. I just, I'm so thankful that we're actually getting to do some historical cool stuff. Well, we just finished up at that super cute little lunch stop. Man, honestly, it was kind of torture being able to sit there by the water and not enjoy a nice refreshing beer. And I'm just like so happy that it's not super, super sunny. So we're just really, really enjoying this nice little relaxing ride. And these super cute little motorcycles. Well, one thing I just learned the hard way is this motorcycle has false neutral. <laughs> Literally, the neutral light on my screen was illuminated and I let go of the clutch and the bike stalled. So, that's just one thing you always gotta think about. Looks like we're getting back into downtown Savannah. Gonna go explore some of the beautiful squares of the city. Well, we're officially done with our press ride, but you know me, I can't go anywhere without riding to coffee. So, we're going to attempt to head over to Black Rifle Coffee because that's a staple here. I actually love Black Rifle Coffee, but it, they have an actual storefront here in Savannah. So we're gonna go see if we can get there. I'm worried it might be a little, a little cobblestone-y, but there's only one way to find out. It has just been absolutely impressive. I have been so impressed with this motorcycle. Just perfect. It does everything you need it to do. We made it, that was great. Well, let's go get some Black Rifle Coffee. <laughs> so we just got to Black Rifle Coffee Company. Literally have not even been able to go inside yet because people have swarmed the motorcycle. They're like, what is that? Where's it made? It's a 350, what? Yeah. Hey Brie, we're doing a good job selling your bikes out here, babe. <laughs> dark this is. My kind of coffee. Strong. Yes. All right. Well, while we sit here and drink this delicious coffee, I just want to kind of talk about this motorcycle really fast. This thing actually blew my mind. I thought it was going to be this tiny little nonsensical 350 cc motorcycle and it was everything except that. It fit my fat ass on it and it was a very comfortable ride today. I'm super impressed with the amount of torque and power for such a small displacement motor. So if you guys have the opportunity, check out the brand new 350 Classic from Royal Enfield because I think you'll be pretty surprised at just how comfortable it is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until my next one, you be good 
and I'll see you later.